when this man's music drops. And I hope, I hope, folks, that they do show it because, you know, ESPN wants to get every dollar they can, squeeze every penny they can, and get every advertisement, every commercial in there. Um, but if you've watched Cage Warriors before, if you watched Patty Pimblett fight um, locally, this dude's music is incredible. The vibe when he puts his music on and he comes out, um, they go crazy, man. And if you get to experience that like in person, that'd be a hell of a thing. But either way, Patty the Batty Pimblet, he has to focus on the fight at hand. Not Ilya Taporia, but he needs to focus on this guy right here, Kazula, Rodrigo Vargas. Um, but Kazula is his nickname. That's just what we're going to call him for that one. Massive favorite, AJ. Minus 440 favorite with a plus 340 comeback. No respect for Kazula, but I also think that uh, this kind of makes sense, right? Paddy Pimblett is not a striker. I want to remind folks, Paddy Pimblett is not a striker. The man is a grappler who is similar to that Jack Shore type style where he's trying to get his boxing nice, get his kickboxing up there. Um, but this dude, if we look at his last five, yes, he got the knockout win over Luigi Vendramini even though he got clipped early in that fight it was touch and go um, he has a fight before that first round submission TKO first round punches oftentimes it's getting to the mount and then ground and pounding you know these opponents those are the TKOs um, against uh, Sav Savidis that's the man's last name it was about five fights ago man pulled up a beautiful second round flying triangle choke man you gotta love to see it but that's the slickness of a Patty Pimblet. he needs to put on a show here AJ he is the star of the show he has to put on a show but Kazula Vargas at one point, I think he has the perfect style for Paddy Pimblett to showcase on him. But at the other hand, he has that style that can mitigate all of that stuff that Paddy Pimblett does because he is a wrecking ball, move forward, might not be the fastest man in the world, might loop his shots, but he's coming forward and he's coming hard. AJ, his best performance to date, even though it was the wrong Zhu fight, you got the big win. That was impressive, right? But that Brock Weaver fight that he got disqualified in with the illegal knee where he kneed that man's face into oblivion, you got to admit, even though it's not the, st the, the stiffest of opposition, he looked impressive there. He looked like a real killer. What do you make of Kazula Vargas in this fight? Do you think he's being written off completely? Like, they're, like people aren't giving him a chance, but I do think he has a chance to win this fight. What do you think? Oh, I think it's a chance for sure, man. People are writing him off 100%, and that's when you're most dangerous. Yeah. Kazula is mean. Yeah. He likes to blitz and send those strikes coming down the pipe, and then eventually he'll loop them. You know, yeah. once once he gets in there, he'll start looping his punches. But this dude is mean in that blitz. He's an old older fighter, 36 years old, so he has a lot of experience behind him. I know it's only 12 and 4 on his professional record, but he has, you know, he's been doing it for quite a long time, and experience always speaks levels. He's what I like about Kazula, man. He's willing to to attack first to draw the counter to counter the counter you know come back after that and he's willing to take one to give one he doesn't mind being tagged because his chin has always been well tested and he's got bombs in the hands man i do think he has the experience to out grit patty the pimblet you know patty the patty the baddie excuse me patty pimblet um but Patty, man, he's slick on the ground. So even if he does get hurt, he can take things down. And then we've seen Kazula kind of get drowned a little bit, you know, kind of kind of kind of lose his his wherewithal, if you will, because he's very, very strong. But then once, you know, once the once you guys hit the mat and you start using utilizing those muscles, then he kind of started drowning a little bit, you know, using a little bit too much gas. And that's been Kazula's biggest at least hole that she, that's kind of been well, well known, you know, for the most part. Um do I think he has a chance to win this fight? 100%, man. We saw in the last fight that Patty had, he can get tagged. He's there to be hit. His striking isn't as clean as a lot of people leave it up to be. You know, there's a lot of talk about and this dude's slick everywhere he goes, but he's a lot slicker on the ground and the striking's catching up. So can he get tagged? Yes. And if he gets tagged by Kazula with some dude with heavy, heavy hands, are we going to see the same thing that we did in the Luigi Benjamini fight where he comes back? I don't know, man. The Kazula hits hard. What do you yeah. think, Derek? If he gets tagged, will he be there? Or are we going to see something a little different this time? Listen, brother, I think that it was obviously his experience. It was the adrenaline. It was everything that played a part in that win against Luigi Benjamini. But every time I go back to watch it, I was like, man, Luigi was winning that fight. But then the tide turned. And as soon as... Patty Pimblett went downhill, it was it was game over. And what I mean by downhill is when he started being on the offensive, when he started walking down Benjamini, it was literally game over from that. So Patty Pimblett has that X factor. He has it. I don't think I don't think we could really deny it too much at this point. But Kazula Vargas is not a dude who's gonna wilt in front of you and just be like, oh, no more. You know what I mean? He's fighting till the very end and uh I just think, man, this is this is this is going to be a tough fight for Patty Bimble. I think this is going to be tougher. It's going to be a gritty fight. I think that he's going to have to pull out a couple tricks up his sleeve, work the grappling a little bit, try to tire out Kazula Vargas. But I don't think this is going to be a first round stoppage by any stretch of the imagination. However, AJ, over and under is one and a half rounds on this one, so. 
when we're talking about it. Um, Patty Pimba, he is 4-2 and two in fights that go the distance, AJ. 13 of his 17 wins have come in the first round. So this is very Tom Aspinall-esque, where it's like when things start getting later on in the fights, I mean, it, it can become an issue. Obviously, 4-2 and two in fights that go the distance, so you're way over 500. But either way, it's something to keep an eye on. Now, for Kazula, he's won 10 of his 12 bouts via finish, 7 knockouts, 3 submissions, 2-2 two and two in fights that go the distance. And his last knockout win was back in 2018 versus Mike De La Torre. So who gets a finish if a finish does happen in this fight? And but by what method do you think? Like, is it more likely Kazula gets a knockout or is it more likely Patty the Batty drops a submission on him? I think it's, well, well, I mean, I think it's more likely that Patty gets a submission. Mm-hmm. But at the same point, Patty, he, he's either overconfident or has a bad habit of fighting like an old school English fighter. You know, I don't know if it's where he comes from. Hands down, chin mm-hmm. high, he kind of doesn't. Even when he gets in there and the, the uh, punch start flying, he doesn't really tuck his chin like you're supposed to. You know, he keeps it high and just keeps swinging. Man, so it can happen. Kazula can get the knockout, especially because of that. In the exchange, if Patty's hands are low or he's swinging and that chin's high, he can get caught. But at the same point, Patty's so slick on the ground. So if he does, and Kazula isn't that slick on the ground. So I can see a finish coming from both fighters, but I think it's more likely if the submission comes from Patty. Do you what know? About how, you? Uh, well, I, I will say I, I think that uh, it's more likely Patty Pimblett gets either a TKO by punches on the ground or a submission rather than Kazula Vargas knocking him out. I think Kazula just has to catch him in one of those spots where Patty is falling in love with the hands and doesn't want to work the game plan of the grappling. Um, but I don't think he'll do that against Kazula unless he's feeling really confident. But you know how crazy these people are going to go? This crowd is going to go if Kazula Vargas like knocked out Patty Pimblet. Like, do you understand? Like this dude, it's probably going to be like uh, like close to like Brazil. How there, you know what I mean? They'll probably be throwing beer. You know what I mean? The whole nine. Like I think that'll be worst case scenario. So. Um, I like Patty Pimblett in this fight, brother, and I think Patty Pimblett is going to be able to edge it out. I do like a TKO via strikes in, like, the third round. I like that um, for Patty Pimblett in this one. However, I could see this going to a decision, and I can also see Kazula Vargas knocking him out if he doesn't play it safe and play it careful. That is part of his style, though, is being that wild, eccentric dude, and sometimes you don't want to take away that factor because that's what makes them win. They have to get into that, get touched up a little bit to wake up, right? But you don't want to be dependent on the chin. I do give Kazula Vargas a chance, but I, I think that it wouldn't be wise to throw too much money on Kazula. Um, so I'm going Patty Pimblett, TKO, round three. What are you thinking, brother? Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. And I, as much as I think Patty, he wasn't lucky in getting the knockout in, against the Benjamin fight, but he was lucky by not getting knocked out. Yeah. You know, there was a little luck on that one as well. I don't think we're going to see that same kind of thing. I think he's going to find a more calculated fight. I'm going Patty the Batty, and I'm going uh, TKO or submission late round two, so I'm taking the over. Okay, right on. So we're both on the over on that fight. (laughs) 